All right, man, let me say this. If you are unsure about something, man, you go into a forum to try to read up on it, one of those Google forums where you typing something in, like, what's the best fluid to use for your transmission fluid, you probably gonna come out of there more confused than when you went in there, because I promise you. I've been trying to decide, was there a better fluid to put in this transmission? Um, even though, um, you know, my beard of Showtime transmission told me what fluid to put in there, I guess I was still just curious. My mind was just running all over the place, and I was just curious, was there a better fluid? Some people were saying Type F was the best fluid, and others were saying um, just regular GM fluid was the best thing to do. But what I'm finna do is, man, I'm finna get in here, show y'all what we got. These mosquitoes trying to bite me. But we finna get in here, man. I'm finna show y'all what we got for Iron Man. And we finna get this thing in the air. We finna put the converter on the transmission, possibly even put the transmission up here. But we just gotta get this thing prepped and ready to go into the truck. So y'all stay tuned. Let me get the door open. We finna go in here. If you're coming, you better come on. Come on. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. All right, guys, so let's start with the easy stuff. First thing we're gonna do is get this thing jacked up, get this thing on jack stands. It don't have to be like super high off the ground, but I do need it high enough for me to get up under it. Um, without, without it being too too much of a task, getting up under it. So, do I, I want it as high as it can go. Honestly, but the truck already set up kind of high. All right, guys, because the shop is so small, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to show y'all um, me getting the back up. I'm going to just get the back up, and then we're going to talk about the parts, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do. Let's talk about the parts. The first part we're going to talk about is the torque converter. I went with the B&M um, B&M torque converter, the torque master. I don't know if I can read that or not. Uh, part number 20400. Um, this is a, I think it's a 1900 or 1800 to like 2200 uh, style. And the reason why I went with this one is because I already have a cam. But we'll talk about the cam in another video. But this is the talk number. Like I said, B&M. Looks like a real nice uh, converter. Uh, yeah, this is it. Let's talk about the next piece. So in the beginning of the video, I brought up about the fluid. So um, I decided to go with this Valvoline uh, Max Life multi-vehicle fluid, right? Full synthetic. Um, the other fluid that I was having an issue with or that I was thinking about going with was the type F fluid. People kept saying, oh, you know, type F fluids are supposed to be better and they're supposed to be, um, when you got a converter, it's supposed to be less heat and all this and that. So I kind of got confused, man. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of got to a point where I was like, man, I don't know what to do. So I just said bump it. We're gonna go with some regular fluid, but we're gonna go with the like upper status, like the max life fluid so this is what we're gonna do I just bought one quart for now and I'm gonna pour this into the torque converter when I get ready to hook it up to the transmission that way that part of it is done the very next part we're gonna talk about is this racing power company transpan um, this isn't a deep pan it's just a regular pan um, Guys, what I didn't know was there's a lot of different types of pans out there. They even have what's called a cooling pan for a TH350. And it has like little cooling tubes in it and this and that. It's, it's real advanced stuff. It's a little on the expensive side. I can't remember who makes it, but it is a very, very nice pan. So this is who I went with. Very affordable. Um, comes with a new gasket. 
comes with a drain bolt and a whole new set of uh, bolts with lock washers. And this itself is the paint. And if you notice something, your typical or old school pans didn't have a drain on it. This one has a drain. Um, what it doesn't have is a magnet. Uh, I don't know, people say you want magnets in your pan so that it can um, pull all that metal or hold that metal to the bottom. Um, I don't think this one has a, a magnet that I know of. I don't know, so I don't think it does. But anyway, man, this is a very nice pan for the price from what I can see so far. Nice chrome pan. Let's move on to the next part. And the very last piece that I want to talk about is this trans cooler with the fan on it. Uh, the Rio, the real, however you pronounce that, is what I went with. And this is gonna run the cooling. Um, I'm no longer gonna run it into the radiator at all. I'm gonna run straight into this. We're gonna mount this up under the truck. Um, I've actually done a lot of research. Some people say you can't run these by themselves. And basically saying that you gotta run through the radiator and then they gotta come out and go into this, blah, blah, blah. But I've seen a lot of people run these and they said their transmission has been just fine. So, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run this. And I got a very good deal on this on Facebook Marketplace. This thing costs 200 and something dollars. I was able to land this thing for $75, dude. $75, brand new. Everything was in it. This one even has the sensor in it. Uh, the little prong sensor has that in it and this braided steel line is i think it's evil energy the amazon if you go on amazon you type in braided steel line that's what this is what's gonna come up and i think this is evil energy so this is the line we're gonna mount this up on the truck we're gonna go straight from the trans straight into this and back into the transmission this is gonna be the, the main cooling for all right guys so excuse the mess i gotta take my trash out but this is my brand new, beautiful, Turbo 350 from Showtime Transmission. When I tell y'all this thing don't look nothing like when I dropped it off, it doesn't. Um, but what we're about to do is, I'm about to Okay, well what I'm about to do is, <laughs> after that, what I'm about to do is pour one quarter fluid into this BMM torque converter and go ahead and put it in. They said a couple turns, it should drop in. It should go poop, poop. So I'm gonna pour this fluid in here and we're gonna put, go ahead and put this uh, converter up under here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the jack and up under the truck. So y'all hold tight. We got some brand new bolts and everything that we're gonna use. So y'all hold tight. There's one more thing that I forgot to do, and that is put these fittings. So this is a 6 AN flare, 1 4th MPS transmission. And basically this just threads directly into this turbo 350 transmission, rubber seal on the end. And what this does is it converts the lines coming out of the trans to AN fittings, to 6 AN fittings, AN 6 fittings, however you say that. And they're from ICT Billet. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna take the old ones out, put these in to convert it to AN fittings. That way we just thread the AN lines on it, go to the trans cooler and back, and it's all AN fittings. Plain and simple, less leaks, less fittings, less leaks. Let's get these in, or let's see if they fit first. Let's see if these fit. Get them in, and then let's uh, get this fluid poured in this uh, train into this uh, converter, and then let's get it on the train. And we're about to pour this uh, trans fluid in this thing, and then we're gonna uh, slide this right into the uh, right up, right onto that shaft right now.
I don't normally cuss, man, but man, I just knocked over almost my whole brand new jug, man. A fluid. Got to him, I don't know. Anyway, we ain't gonna stress about that. It's already on the ground, ain't nothing I can do about it. On another note, I don't know if y'all can see the transmission, but it is up under there. But the next course of action is this thing. So if I'm gonna put a new transmission in, I might as well bump up the looks of the uh, cross member. So we finna clean up the cross member. And I got a new uh, a new trans mount for it. So I'm get this thing out here and clean it up real good. And then after we get it clean, we gonna spray it, we gonna paint it. It gonna be nice and, I don't know what color this is. Whatever spray paint I got in there, the color that is gonna go. So, y'all hold tight. Let me go get my cleaning stuff. We finna clean this thing up. All right, guys, so I had some chrome paint laying around, as y'all can see. This is what I had laying around, man, so. Uh, yeah, some light on that bad boy. This is literally what I had laying around, chrome paint. And this literally looks like real chrome. That looked like some real chrome, man, look at it. Y'all can't tell me that don't look like real chrome. That paint definitely did a good job, man. So, we're gonna let this dry overnight. And we coming back tomorrow. And we are going to go ahead and throw the transmission in it. And we gonna keep working from now. If y'all see my light on my head, man, y'all see how much that thing just brighten it up up on the hill, man. So, uh, you need one of these, man. It will be linked below. Just go check out my Amazon store and you'll find this light in there, man. All right, so first things first, transmission gotta go up and over. So, ugh. All right, guys, new plan. So what we're gonna have to do is put a few bolts in the cross member so that the uh, trans at least has a plan, a place to sit. And then um, what we're gonna do is after we get the cross member bolted, at least a few bolts on this side so it can hold it, then we'll come back in and, um, whoo, tie. Then we'll come back in and, uh, Put the bolts on the other side and put the transmission on all this and that. Y'all hold tight, let me get the bolts and we'll check back in in a minute. As y'all can see, the uh, trans is in. And it's sitting on the cross member. Not bolted down yet, but I do have a few bolts into the engine. But Iron Man is almost back. Got a few bolts to tighten up and different things, man, but it's in. So if I'm being honest, this truck gonna put some on me. Uh, it's been rough. Trying to put a transmission in by yourself. Don't let nobody tell you no lie. It ain't no joke. Y'all can see, real dirty right there. Hold on, let me take this off. Let like this, throwing the focus off. But anyway guys, uh, as y'all can see, the dirt all over my face. I done got whooped on pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in for another video. Look forward over here.